Hey guys, so uh, been off work the past several days. Uh, came back to work today, so they had me uh, pick a load up uh, early this afternoon in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and then that delivers to uh, Bolingbrook, Illinois, uh, Monday afternoon at uh, what was it? I think it was. Uh, maybe 6 p.m. I believe. I believe that's what it was. Uh, so I've made it to, uh, I don't know, the East St. Louis area in Illinois. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember the name of the town. It's exit 18. There's a couple of truck stops out here on Interstate 55 slash 70. So I stopped here and uh, seems like there even though it's a Sunday night uh, fairly easy parking there's there seems to be plenty of parking this evening for whatever reason sometimes that you know even though it's Sunday night is kind of technically you know that's a night when things are busier usually and uh, it's close to st. Louis too as well but uh, so there but there's plenty of parking in this uh, parked at the pilot truck stop. There's a TA truck stop across the street. So I parked at the pilot and uh, like I say, plenty of parking. Even at, the, you know, at this point it's about midnight and it's still, uh, still plenty of parking. So while I was home, I, uh, you know, I worked with my projector, worked with the projector screen, uh, had a lot of meals out with family and friends. And then I, I did have one little weird problem uh, a few days ago. I woke up and uh, wasn't hearing quite right, and you know I quickly realized that uh, had wax and you know kind of a wax buildup in my ears. And you know I had that happen one other time. Uh, oh gosh, way back, probably around 1980. I think I ended up going to the doctor with it and. You know they, you know, kind of have the thing they wash your ears out with a syringe, and I, I remember it uh, kind of made me feel dizzy. So I, I ended up looking it up, and uh, you can actually uh, do this yourself. And if you, if you can't get it can't get it to work yourself, then you can uh, you know probably go to a walk-in clinic and you know pay a hundred and something dollars, and they'll do it for you. So in the meantime, I went ahead, I got, uh, what you do is get some hydrogen peroxide and then some sort of, uh, so I bought this uh, earwax removal kit, and it comes with a, a little thing that's, I don't know, this is some kind of oil and it's got peroxide in it, a small amount of peroxide, and then it also has this uh, little I don't know what you'd call that, a little bulb thing, and you, you know, you can suck liquid up with it and squirt it back out. So, tried that first and didn't really seem to do much. So then I got some actual hydrogen peroxide and uh, used that little ball, you know, that little uh, squeeze ball thing. I don't know, what, what do they call that? washer bulb included so that's a little that little blue thing's a washer bulb and uh, drip you know little drops of hydrogen peroxide into my ears and uh, I've done that a couple of times actually several times at this point over the past few days and it does it has seemed to have had an effect I still haven't been able to you know all these videos I've watched on YouTube uh, people were talking about well they you know they get all this gunk coming out of their ears you know if they wash it out like in the shower or whatever I've never really gotten any any chunks or anything to come out maybe I'm not doing it quite right but uh, it has had a, an effect and it's it's much better so I'll continue to uh, you know drip some you know drops of peroxide into my ears and uh, let it kind of sit there and, and percolate. You know, I don't know if you if you use peroxide, you, you uh, normally like hydrogen peroxide. If you put that on a like if you 
you've got a wound of some kind and you put the peroxide on there it foams well that's that's that ends up happening if you put that in your ear it foams uh, you know and so it, and it kind of, you know you get kind of this reaction going on and I think that's what helps break the wax down so it does seem to be working so I'll it has worked I'm hearing much better now uh, that's really kind of annoying uh, if you've ever had that happen where you, you know your your uh, ear canal is kind of blocked with wax and it just it just really feels like uh, that's blocked. You have this blocked sensation, and it's weird how uh, it really affected both of them at the same time. The left one was different than the right one. The right one probably even had more wax in it, although it felt like the left one was more blocked. And it's strange how I guess I guess it's really not strange that they would both kind of block up at the same time because. Uh, you know they're they're both kind of behaving the same way and so they you know it would stand a reason that they could both block up at the same time so but it's been as I say it's been years way back 1980 and of course this is 2015 so that's that's a long time <laughs> to, to not have a problem so anyway I'll continue with the hydrogen peroxide and uh, that does seem that it, really has had a, a positive effect and so I'll uh, eventually get it cleaned out and if I if it's not cleaned out to my satisfaction whenever I go home again I'll go to the walk-in clinic uh, so anyway it's just kind of one of those things that uh, happens and <laughs> you know it, it can be uh, kind of an annoying thing once it does happen so anyway, from, I think I'm in Troy, Illinois, catch you later.